Ooh wee! So we get to have part two of the Green Poncho story. Now we get to hear the story of how it got passed down from the first Green Poncho to the next one. Oh man, let's get started on this. Oh my goodness. And note, I might actually get some things wrong. And if I do, yeah, just don't screw me over and don't kick me in the freaking can. I mean, I would most likely later on kick myself being like, oh man, I missed that detail. So anyways, are you ready for this? This actually happened recently, but I think Cartoon Network did not actually air it yet. So this is early. I'm recording this early because I got someone who gave me the back though. <laughs> so anyways, here we go. What happens is that, um, so first things first, it's exactly what I wanted to happen. It's like, dude, you already know now that the king has the map and he's going to come to the other side of the creek and take that over. And it's like, good God. So they beforehand created a council that actually had to deal with the whole, <laughs> which I can't really, hopefully I show you that, but I most likely don't. But anyways, yeah, it was that war that had had no real actual anything on it. So they had no choice but to stop the person. And they did it by doing a council where they all came together for that. And the council came up together again when it dealt with the bee crisis. So I don't remember everyone that's in the council, but in this episode, we get to see lots of things that who came. So lots of people came. Except Bobby. And I don't know if the scientist kids came, but I think they did. So anyways, they all come together with the green poncho and they're going to tell you the story of how brutal the king actually is. So first things first, of course, which notes the only thing I have a sad thing about this series is that, well, this one episode, which is bring out your beast. Oh my gosh, I don't like that episode. Only episode I don't like, but shit. Oh, who the fuck? I, yeah, it better not be Kenny. It's like, oh my gosh, this freaking Kenny. Oh, son of a... But anyways, no. And it's like, he's not bad. Anyways, so here we go. Basically, we have... And let me just say, yeah, the thing that actually I dislike is the fact that she calls herself king, but it's like, dope, you're a queen, okay? Or call yourself a royal, you know? Find something that's a unisex, not king. King is sex. King is gender-based. You have to be a dude to be a king. What the fuck? And queens are not horrible. It's like, what the frick? Even drag queens and crap like that? So it's like, you shouldn't skip out the damn ass name. Anyways. Oh, title. Anyways. So she's now becoming a four. She's 14 years old. She's going to go to high school. Can't do this. So she passed it down to her brother. And of course, well, Maya gets to be crowned as the best friend of the king, a.k.a. the second in command. So meanwhile, with that, we have Omar hanging out with the green poncho and he's trying to learn how to do archery, but he's right now not doing good. And he's like, I'm pretty sure Maya will come to her senses if we can just talk. And lo and behold, the freaking king as the first declamation is the fup over people who actually screwed him over in the past. Basically, we had kids playing with the rhino set, which we saw previously. It's like, that's interesting. It's like, yeah, he's grown up now. The king's grown up. And we actually have, oh, yeah, he said something about a movie. It's like Craig said something about the movie with Rhinelope. So it's like, hmm. So... I guess the series, if we're even thinking about this for one short minute, it's like the series actually is not that bad. It's like it's not dated as bad as you think it could be. It's just dated by a few years. Or it's a fact, I don't know. It's like kind of like Power Rangers a little bit, but Power Rangers playback came back to give us all the old toys. Anyways, besides going off topic. So he came over there. He freaking destroyed freaking damn toys and shit. He destroyed everything. And even Maya had no choice but to break one of the toys. So <clears throat> sadly, Omar actually kind of screwed over the green poncho. But they were able to steal the flea. And then he was able to get a text from Maya. And Maya was actually still trying to turn him. 
And the king was secretly there too. And then, well, the sad part is that during the fight, her glasses came off and, oh, shit. So the thing is that she covered her identity with those glasses. And it's like, oh, so she didn't really need those glasses. She used those as covering her identity. Kind of like wearing a mask, like the green arrow. <laughs> do 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 boop. but anyways so now sadly with omar's freaking blip he got to see her face and then she he started to do some digging now when it came to another time where it's like yeah um no you're not gonna screw over these damn kids it's revealed that he's like, yeah, I was thinking about it. It's like, yeah, you go to school with my sister. And it's like, Michelle Green. It's like, why did you name her last name Green? What the fuck? So it's like, not only the poncho is green, but she also chose green. And it's like, what the? It's like, that's, <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, besides that new what the frick moment, He's now going to say, well, I'm able to freaking just blackmail your ass. So either you buzz off and drop the freaking poncho or I'm going to text the my, in quotations, sister's best friend, Jacob, and he loves to talk. So you're going to, in high school, people are going to listen to how you actually play with children, play with kids. And it's like, that's a bad look for you. So unbelievably enough... She throws down the poncho, throws down her glasses, and then all of a sudden she sounds like a freaking damn stereotypical girl, teenage girl. Hey, what's up? Uh, do you want to hang out? And it's like she didn't really like doing that, but she got screwed over. So Omar took the green poncho and ran for it. And that was the motivation he needed to actually become a good pers archer good archer so that's the story of how the poncho was passed wow it's like yeah they did not disappoint but i see a little bit of disappointment but it's like they still didn't disappoint now with the council there the sad part is the fancy girl you know the one that loves to freaking use the axe and secretly it's like oh there's no cake but haha ha, let's see him fight for it She's like, oh, really? Well, no, nah, he's just a poser. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're done listening to you. And it's like, oh, son of a bitch. And Kit left too. Um, the science kids, if they were there, they left too. Bobby was not allowed to even come. <laughs> yeah, he showed up in the B thing, though. The kids who do paintball are just like, oh, my gosh, the ones who actually have good ammo. I mean, come on. People are going to be like, Pfft. Oh, my clothes. They put paint on my clothes. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the king doesn't want to get dirty. So it's like, yo, except for Maya. Maya's fine to get dirty. But everyone else, I'm pretty sure they're like, what the fuck? But either way, it's like they're gone, too. And it's like almost everyone you can name that I didn't mention are gone. The ones who are left is the sewer queen, the 10 speeds, sewer queen, 10 speeds, and the boy scouts. Those are the only ones that are defending the creek along with Craig, Kel Kelsey, and JP, of course, including Green Poncho. So that is how it's going to play out. It's like, this is everyone not together, but this is everyone who's going to try to start a resistance against the king of the other side of the creek. We need everyone here, man. We need everyone. Not to mention, you know, it's the messed up crap of it all. It's like everyone should have hopped to it because it's like, even if you actually want to just be like, ah, he's a poser. The thing is, is that don't you guys have secrets? That freaking place over there that has everyone's secrets. As soon as the king takes that place alone, he's able to take down that guy who keeps everyone's secrets because it's only one man. It's only one boy. It's only one kid. As soon as he takes that freaking damn tree, he got everyone's secrets. And it's like, then you all are fucked over. And he got you on blackmail. Not to mention, he got the damn ass map. So that means that, oh, shoot. Yeah, as soon as he looks at the map, he's like, hmm, tree of secrets. 
hmm. And all they have to do is just send a small squadron to take that out, grab all the freaking secrets, and run. Yes, he'll tell them that, oh my gosh, guys, the secret, the trees of secret got rampaged. It, every, someone took everything. It's like, oh. It's like, yeah, easy blackmail of making them all bend the knee. Damn. And it's on the freaking map. Well, hopefully Craig didn't put it on the map. Hopefully he just keeps it as a secret. And he just has that as a stump and then we're safe. But it's like, my goodness, dude. And you wonder how he's going to play this out. Is he going to straight up go gun ho and bring everyone and now it's a big freaking battle? Or B, will he actually be crazy enough to actually bring someone new to the creek that, that no one actually would suspect? And then all of a sudden, oh, frick. Not to mention the girl who does Jinx. It's like, she's a good weapon, just in case, you know? And it's like, if they actually start playing chess, it'll be awesome if as soon as they find out what the fuck that he did, then it's like the spy, then all they got to do is just bring the girl who is Jinx cursed, and he'll think he'll get information from her, and then Jinx, boom! can't speak he has to run back actually no one will know his real name or something i don't know but it's like that's a good way to stop him from doing it it's like mm, 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 mm. what's wrong with you mm, 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 mm. it's like yeah they, none of them will be like mm. so it's like yeah only thing is that i think she learned her lesson so she won't use jinx as much as he used to but either way oh Man, not everyone's together on this. So it's going to have to take something even more to actually bring everyone together. Or it takes the battle that everyone's, like, half, like not even half. It's like, as soon as the battle truly begins, I wonder how will things work out then? As soon as they see gone real, will they actually truly come to the rescue and everyone else is defending the creek and they all together are doing it? Or... It's like, are we going to have like a, yeah, nice affinity war, um, a nice Avengers Endgame moment, but like on your left and then everyone who's like, oh yeah, we thought you were, he's a poser and he's the threat. They're the all there, they all are right here and dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, it's like, oh frick, if they actually do something like that set up, but you need to know that this has to be like at least a three-parter. But let me end it with this. So the kid seems like he's old enough to actually get aged out, but we don't know how old he really is. It's like, we don't know how old he is. Could he be 12? 10? Not sure. So it's like, yeah, that's the messed up part. It's like, we are not sure how old he is. But if he actually just ages out, then... He doesn't have a successor. He doesn't have a younger boy, brother or something. It's like, yeah, it's just those two. So who is he going to pass it on afterwards? Or when it finally just dissipates, and there we go. It, it's like, will it solve its own self? But the sad part is like, if he does expand his rule, the messed up part, if he expands his rule, and then you have to wait like two years for it to maybe collapse... The only messed up part is like, if it maybe even collapse, we don't know if he has a successor or not. So it's like, yeah. So if he, with no successor, it can collapse, but we don't know for sure if you're able to do that. All right. So anyways, yes, there we go. Sorry for the cussing for those who actually are listening on another platform, but wow. Can't wait to see how this plays out. I really can't. Everybody say, everybody say I'm a crazy man. <laughs>